it's so bright. <laughs> hey, Miss Girl. You ever feel like you just want to like, like scream so intensively that like you're ex uh, uh, just everything explodes? Yeah. That's my current like existence feeling right now. She's looking kind of bummy, but also I'm not about to say I'm sorry for the way that I look because I hate, I hate when women feel the need to say sorry because we aren't hot, sexy, cool all the time. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm projecting a lot of unbalanced feelings onto you guys right now. But hello, it's your girl and Welcome to the Emma Diaries. I'm just gonna say one thing though. Don't look too hard on my hair because I'm getting it done on Monday. I think hair is super hard to keep up with. So I'm getting it done on Monday. Okay, okay. So here's the deal. I am a depressed individual. We all know this, la, 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 so boring topic. Okay, whatever. I am on my meds, but see when I get my period, the time of the month where blood gushes out of me, your gurky gets very sad. But my period pretty much stopped like yesterday. So now I'm just living in the aftermath of what period Emma existed in. You wanna, do you, do you wanna, do you wanna see? And I know I'm being all like, ah, silly and goofy, but like, this is a very raw part of me and I am, no for a fact, not everyone would show this to the internet. Um, but this is the way that I'm living. Hey girl. I've just sort of been like letting go, okay? <laughs> Clearly. And then here's all my clothes. And my bed. A little bit of dishes. Half of my bra sticking out, okay? Cool, hey girl. She wants to exist, I guess. And then a bunch of thrifted clothes that I bought randomly. My cheeks are getting warm because I feel like a little bit embarrassed. I think I feel a little bit embarrassed. But at the same time, like, what are you supposed to do? That this last period just like eh, drained me. So now we just have to deal with the aftermath and that's okay. Like, I can baby Miss Girl. Gonna make my bed. I bought this toothbrush today, or yesterday, because I went to the, the dentist and I forgot my toothbrush, even though I pre-packed it and everything, but whatever. I also um haven't, ugh, ugh. Girl, I'm just so tired. I also haven't uh, done my laundry, but that was a pre-existing thing. Like I just didn't do it. Whatever, major loser. I actually bought this, like, I think it might be a table runner. I don't know. Bought it, I thought it looked cute. I thought I could add a nice layer to my bed. Girl. I also have this one, but this I've had for a while now. At least now my bed is made. Okay, so I made a small list of things to do, including both cleaning my bedroom and my laundry. We've already done Miss Make Bed. Also, I spelt it like bead. I don't know what's going on with my brain. I know making a list helps me like understand what needs to be done instead of just jumbling it all up into the same category, like clean up my room. Okay, but where do I start, you know? I think the next thing that seems the most easiest to do right now is bring up all the dishes upstairs. And I was also thinking that we can make a cup of coffee. Let's wake up this energy a little bit, y'all. Wake her up. I have these huge ice from this ice tray. No, I don't think it's gonna fit. It works. Why did I think that was a smart idea? Girl. I changed into this sweater instead because y'all saw what freaking happened to my other one like. And I think me spilling coffee all over my shirt, clear sign I should be doing my laundry right now. The way I work best when I'm gonna be cleaning up the floor of my room, I know to open up my laundry hamper and put all the clothes that are dirty into the laundry hamper directly and then the clothes that are clean that I've just thrown on the floor because I'm lazy, like I put them onto my bed instead. And that sort of helps me divide the clean from the dirty and also helps me visualize like what's next. 
as we talked about before. I just get so unbelievably unmotivated when I'm on my period and like being motivated is something that I have to constantly seek out all the time anyways. But when I'm on my period, it's like this girl hates me and she's like productivity only makes you weaker, but it literally doesn't like be trying on clothes that I might be wearing and I just throw it on the floor because I'm like whatever like it doesn't matter. You know, it's like so stupid. It's like I've been having a hard time setting myself up for success in that way these last two weeks, I guess. So last time I went thrifting, I went thrifting with my little cousin, Alexandra, and I found like this three piece set of just decoration. Let me show you. This is the first piece in the set and I really like her a lot. I really wanna hang her in my window, but I need to sort of reorganize my window first before I even start that. So I'm thinking that can be added to our list. And then the two other pieces in the set were these like candle holders. Okay, come on, Miss Medieval, come on, Miss, um, what's that thing called that they drink out of in Riverdale? Anyways, looking super medieval, love her. And so I mentioned that there were two of these, right? And I gave one of them to my cousin because we have like the same style, which is absolutely like so much friggin' fun. I don't think I've ever had somebody like enjoy the same stuff I enjoy as much. And she's just such a friggin' girl! Like I just, ugh. So now we have matching. Bing! But I wasn't about to give her this because I am selfish and I think she is beautiful. And I really want her in my window. Listen, it's telling me to reorganize makeup, but I really don't feel like it. It's, it's sort of organized. She's, she's okay. She's okay. That's for another day. And it's okay to reprioritize what you thought you wanted to do. Now I'm kind of thinking, why don't we organize like the, the window portion of my room? It'd be kind of fun, no? I have like a lot of little trinkets here. <laughs> Also, it gets so dirty. Ew, I shouldn't even show you that because it's like nasty, but I have a lot of little cutesy trinkets. This is actually my favorite lady ever. She looks like me <laughs> and I love her. My grandma gave her to me when I turned 20 because I've been like asking her if I can have this statue that's been inside of her house. And she was like, yeah, when I die, ha 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 ha. And I was like, that's so morbid. Um, but the truth, I guess, um, um, but anywho, so she gifted her to me on my 20th birthday and I was so surprised when I got her and I love her. I love her with my whole heart. I'm just gonna start by like taking all the stuff down. This is one of my favorite additions in my windowsill. Love her and also Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty is such a baddie, like, also, she has like blood coming from her nose. I don't even know what that is. She a baddie. Look at her little eyelashes. Like, hello. Ooh, there's a spider. I love pairing like different colored glass things with a candle that has the same color. Just like Miss Girl. Okay, now it's nice and clean. Slay, slayer, 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 slayer. The question is though, what I want to do because I think I might want to move that lamp over there and then have my cat lamp by my bedside table. Although I do know I want her in the middle. Cute, no? Right? Oh, she's so cute. I'm gonna try putting the this lamp up there. See how it looks. Is that cute, C or no? You can be honest. I kind of like it there. It gives it some like depth. I have this girl too, but I'm also like, maybe it's time to retire her. I love that. Taken away some stuff and not made it look so crowded. Okay, I put my little kitty cat next to my bed and I actually love her. She's also so bright, like surprisingly bright. But I love her and she's so sweet with all the rest of my stuff. Like, like, and I absolutely love my new little window as well as my new layers on my bed. Sure, I got some Goodwill stuff that I'm like, want to like, ugh, ugh, it's so annoying that it exists there, but it has to for now. <laughs> my jewelry bar and my desk. Yeah, <laughs> I think it really came together. Like, I think my room is really looking nice now. You wanna know what the crazy thing is? Like the second 
I felt like I could land in my room and like I ate a little bit of candy. I just suddenly like feel so much more at peace and it's so nice. I can just breathe. All that I have left to do now is just the rest of my laundry, but y'all don't need to stick around for that. Like that's just boring stuff. But this was so much fun and I'm happy that you wanted to hang out. <laughs> the weather, it's getting so dark nowadays so quickly. And I think that's also been putting me in a weird mood. I love my little heart. Like, it's like you guys exist in my room. My heart. You are loved, you are valued. And I will see you next time. So, so soon. Love you. <laughs> And where is my teddy bear? Hello? Oh, hey girl.